Hey guys, welcome back to Ukulele in the Impossible Lair. We're right by a lighthouse that looks like it came right out of Diddy Kong Racing. Speaking of, we're about to boom boom blast. Just like the lighthouse in Diddy Kong Racing. This is awesome music again, get ready. Hello, Mr. Snail. Bye, Mr. Snail. Left, says the crate. But why? I just magnetically pulled something. Aha! Wait a minute, how do you get up there, though? That top crate is made of metal. I doubt this shell will break it. Is there a way to blast further? You can't angle it. It's got to go up. I can catch the shell over and over again. That could be a lot of fun. Let's just do that and listen to the music for, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? Actually, hang on. I'm missing something. Why would it tell me to go left? To fool me? Is this the developer's way of uh, pulling a joke on the player? No, I think I'm just being stupid. There's got to be something I'm missing here. Anyway, this is a terrible start to a video, aside from the music. Yeah, the shell didn't do anything. Yeah, this is one track that I stopped on and repeated on the official soundtrack. Hey, there's something over there. I already magnetically pulled it. But that's good to know. We gotta be on the lookout. Keep your eyes peeled. It doesn't seem too bad so far. Definitely think I just missed something, though, with that leftward crate. Yes, all that. Now we're getting into the Donkey Kong Country business. It's about time. Hang on. Nice. I didn't miss a coin. Ego waffles. Oh, this magnetic quill, man. I love it so much. Just like this song. Let's just be quiet for a full loop of it. Nuts, man. I just tried to jump into the red one. You know that one leads to a secret. All right, hang on. Go fast. Don't even look. Yes. Okay, that's the beauty. I love that. I love how platformers just expect you to go fast. Which makes sense, because think of, like, yourself in um, designing a Mario Maker level. How many times you have to test the same section over and over again? Wait a minute. Don't think I don't see it. So far, so good. Uh, okay. This song might just be my new favorite so far. The background, too, kind of reminds me of, like, Bespin or something from Star Wars. Hang on. Do we gotta just keep rolling into it? Not Limp Bizkit style. Nice bass line, nice melody, nice atmosphere. This game has it all, man. It's a shame not many people are talking about it. Or so it may seem. Maybe it's just me. Like how you don't go to Kmart for clothes. This is like a top brand. And I'm the Kmart. The, uh, the 1993 model. No, we could call it like my birth year, 1988. Nice. Man, I'm on a roll. This is my kind of stage. Okay, now we're jumping off enemies' heads, huh? Oh, okay, don't twirl. Don't twirl, you know, just what you're thinking. I don't need no reason. Don't twirl because it hurts. I twirled. I just said, mm. Son of a crumb. Don't you twirl. Yeah. 
Nice. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, no. Nothing up there. If this does not bring back memories of Snow Barrel Blast, minus the snow. I just love it so much and so should you. This is just beyond fantastic right now. Well, there's a coin up there. Wait, I couldn't make a decision fast enough, man. I saw the thing spinning, and then I forgot I was a magnet. Dude, I am failing this left and right. I don't even know when to come back in with the commentary. I just died like seven times. That's why the checkpoint was like, I thought I told you to shut up and skip ahead. And I was like, no, checkpoint, I'm going to best this. Back in the day, there was no skipping ahead. We only had one life and one button, and we made it happen. Cranky Kong, dude. Don't tell me I can't do this. There are many things in this world that I cannot do. Dang it, how do you get that coin? What? Oh, you can't move this thing. Wow, you really gotta jump high off of that dude, then. Unless, just like Snow Barrel Blast, there's a hidden barrel way at the bottom of the screen that launches you up to it. Nice, I finally made it. I'm almost tempted to jump off to the left, though, for exactly the reason I just said. Uh, I don't know, considering how many attempts that just took. Army of 40. Who do we have? Dan Beal. Almost pretty perfect, aside from the numerous deaths and missing that final coin. But that was an awesome stage. That's what I like to see. I'm very curious about this lighthouse. I think we have to go in there. It's clearly associated with this chapter. Eight more bees to go. I can't believe it. Now, I know there was a switch on the back side. There's a shopping cart up there. Oh, there's a back entrance. Okay, that makes things easy. So, I see. Now we can get to the door. That was actually a fast stage. Had I not died, I would have been in and out of there in like five minutes. Not even level one was that short, it felt like. Maybe it's just the barrels. Which, oh yeah, speaking of, I never finished my point about what developers would probably do in a game like this. Okay. It's kind of neat. Kind of reminds me of Time Splitter's Future Perfect. All the little mini things you have to put together in that game. Hang on now. I see where that has to go, but why can't it go? But yeah, in a platformer like this, if you think of yourself designing stages in Mario Maker 2, how many times do you have to replay over and over the same small section? Um. Oh, okay, now we gotta go back down and do it. Makes sense. Yeah, you would think that these pros would run into the same kind of issue. And after a while, they would set everything up so that you could just run and jump as fast as possible to make sure it's like bug free, I guess. R? Okay. I think I was just saying that because I was standing next to a crate. Wait, did I just go down the up or whatever? Yeah, I did just go back. Down the up. Does that ever bother anybody? People who walk out the exit side? Or like the moving sidewalks where there's a stand and a walk and people stand in the walk and walk in the stand? It's like, can't you read? I don't know, people do what they want. And some people purposely rebel. Even the smallest things. Which I mean, I guess... I, I understand, because you have so little control. Phew, I'm totally safe up here from my phobia of large books. <laughs> what? Oh, man, you would they think something would be there. Well. Sorry, dude. Oof. Boom, bloom, blast, breakthrough. You can enter it from here. That's neat. 
Hi, shopping cart. Can I talk to you? I go. Oh, shoot. That didn't count. Nobody saw it. Close your eyes, count to three. And here we go, starting over. With an awesome bass line once again. Don't be sighing in misery. I am a magnet. There is no... This is fantastic, dude. This is even better than a... Oh, yeah. I knew this soundtrack was good, too, but bam. Add the rain ambiance. That's not on the soundtrack. Okay, this is easy. Nice hot air balloons in the background. Nice balloons. Are they yours? Both of them? Nice. Oh, these are fantastic levels, dude. Oh, a shell. I see. Triple combo the spiders. Why not? I hoard these things too much as it is. Who would not want to be in an environment like this right now? The perfect rain. It's not too heavy, not too light. There's some wind. Perfect vegetation. And the angels are playing you some fantastic music. Alright. What? Can you really not make a jump like that? That was the dumbest thing my fingers ever did. Okay, I believe this is about where we were. Don't fall. Look at the sign. That's awesome. Okay, let's not be a dumbo this time. Well... That was a half dumbo. That's half acceptable. Good job, half dumbo. Boom. Yes. That's right. That's right. If this isn't a coin, I'll be shocked. Very Donkey Kong Country bonus room here. There we go. That would be a one-up balloon. Or no, it could be one of the animal icons if it was DK Country. Like a Rambi token. Or it could be a G, or a K-O-N. Oh, what the... Well, I missed Lely and the reward. It's okay, there's a Lely bell right here. I don't even have to watch. I already pressed the button, but... Oh my gosh, what am I thinking? Come on, Laylee. Hook right! Dang it. Alright, we're going solo. There's something down here. Okay. Yum! Where was coin number one? What did I miss? Was there something obvious? Did I see it? Did I point it out and not know? Okay. Oh, wait, I gotta go up there. What are we doing? I just like launching in these things. Yeah! I don't even have to go down there. I don't think. Unless it's like a super short time. Nah. Probably can't do it. Whoa, what the? Okay, I get it. You have to do it one stage prior to where you want to go. Oh, what? The worst part of these dumb deaths are the stopping of the music. Jeez, go any slower there, Mr. Potted Plant. Man, if ever there was a game where you pause for music appreciation, this is it. One of many. Anybody like standing in the rain? Oh, you gotta time these things. Jeez. Jeez. 
I'm failing again. Despite the peaceful ambiance, the previous version of this chapter and this very section. So many attempts, man. It's just like you can't afford to mess up. But I mean, that's even how it was in Donkey Kong Country back in the day. So many sections of those later stages, you would just fail over and over and over again. Even if you knew what you had to do, you still have like these gut reflexes in your hands. Okay, we know to wait. Okay, coin is up here. I did see that. The previous death. One of the previous. Alright, I still just missed the first one, whatever that was all about. I don't know, but I don't really care. Is that Luigi's Mansion in the background? What is that? Come on, Laylee. Oh! Whatever. Not bad at all. That was another fantastic chapter. I've loved this beach area. Great music in every single level. Camera, honey. Still not sure about those coins. Guaranteed there's an achievement behind getting every single one. If there's an achievement for beating the impossible lair, having done nothing else, you know that there's one for the coins. 41, man. So now we're moving on to the secret area, as Yuka referred to it, although I think it's not really secret. But it is the final three chapters before attempting the impossible lair itself. For the first time, I have no idea what I'm looking, walking into. I know like the completionist and somebody else have like trending videos of this game where they've attempted it and maybe succeeded or failed, I don't know. But I have not watched any video, so... Everything that I'm about to do is totally blind, much like this entire experience has been so far. With the exception of a few tonics here in the overworld, that one chapter, that one video I did. Oh yeah, we never did this. Well, why not? We've got the time. I'm gonna cut out some of those failures. This song, by the way, is not on the official soundtrack. The main theme is, which this is a remix of, but this particular version is not on the official soundtrack, which is kind of a little bit upsetting. Because this is awesome. Really? For the final pagey, one of the final ones, there might be more in this area. That was ridiculously simple compared to some of the prior ones. All right, to Grunty's Lair or Mad Monster Mansion. One of the two. Away with you, foul smog. What is with this suspicious honeycomb tile? No yucca. See, there it is. Not no hamburgers. It's tempting, but I know this should be its own episode. There's all kinds of stuff. Looks like we gotta go in the building. Unless... No, that's nothing. Yep, no yucca. <laughs> I guess that's what the other thing said, but I swear it looked like a hamburger. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.